three years ago at the last big house. Like, start. Yeah, that was like almost like the pre-birth, the the, the infancy, the, mm -hmm. it's the startup of uh, what eventually became like that October, the next October, the streaming big house, and the one after that, they're streaming big house again. And then if you were watching, you also saw the beauty. That was the Frostbite trailer, which they just announced. But we'll touch back on that a little bit later. We got Jury, the Luigi main, who's been doing pretty well. He actually picked up a PR win just last night on our little friend Snoofle, but Snoofle was able to get the run back. But right now, he's having an even footing right here with J. Brock Coney. Absolutely. So we're going to be expecting a lot of... Well, this is actually a matchup that I can consider to be uh, pretty difficult to manage for Luigi under neutral circumstances. Just in, just in terms of the fact that, like, Sonic's, uh, Sonic's ability, obviously, to, to get away from uh, Luigi and his lackluster... A yeah. speed, but the yeah. damage up there. Absolutely. Kind of makes up for it. And we've seen uh, this matchup even as early as this week. I believe at MSM, we saw the SoCal Sonic Meteor taking out Elegant in the loser's bracket. I don't know if that was a screen set or not. I don't know if it was Sonic or Luigi, but that's like the best Luigi period yep. and a really strong SoCal Sonic player. So mm -hmm. uh, it's a very difficult matchup. I mean, we saw our own Chicago Starbase food even uh, fight off against uh, Kimura Kiri. I think it was like the last frost fight. Yes, so yes. We've, we've seen definitely a history of this matchup. And it's very kind of difficult for like Luigi and also Mario alike to kind of get in on the wall that uh, Sonic puts up. Absolutely. And, and you know, even in this kind of circumstance, you could, you could see that Sonic is making it as hard as possible to continue hitting him. But I got to give it to Jerry here. Uh, he's taking full advantage of every single opportunity he gets and the damage lead he has right now is unprecedented. Yeah, he's got a strong lead right now and getting that up smash. Uh, he's living because of Battlefield, but I think on any other stage he would have been done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hit him with that, hit him with that Mario Bros. up smash. That special. Ooh, no. Oh my goodness. Race Sonic grabs you on the platform. You don't want to be on the top platform for that reason. Oh, that is the worst place to be right now. And, yeah. and uh, what an unfortunate uh, situation to be in, but that is the nature of Smash 4. You can never count someone by by their lead or, or, uh, or disadvantage. This Man. game will turn heads faster than, uh, than a pretty lady walking down the street. Oh, absolutely. You know, this is a very difficult, difficult situation to be in, but I mean, going into winner's round three, this is kind of mistakes you can't afford to make because you only get two losses per tournament. So, ooh, that, sticking out that near, but again, Battlefield hanging on. I'm telling you that, like, this stage is like the pick for him. And, and look, now, now we're seeing the fruition of the time that it, that was spent from the previous stock from uh, J Rock because now now we can take advantage of it with the little bounce time that's left. Um, granted, they're not they're not halfway in, but every second counts when you're, when you're playing Sonic. You know, I find it very interesting the opting for these forward throws. I know Luigi's back, back throw is a little bit stronger than Mario's, but again, this is Battlefield, so he doesn't want to stale it out. I understand, but now he's taking that extra percent. Yep, every this single extra yeah. percent uh, credit percent for Sonic is more Punch is more that, paramount than for other. Okay, so so long about it. Taking him out with that back throw. So that was big. Uh, finally getting rid of that first stock. So now he's got to play exactly like he did the first stock and not get grabbed on the top platform. Yeah. <laughs> that's the challenge. Continue oh, to do that's it. Mm. Yeah, he put himself in a bad situation right there. Yeah, that's definitely uh, that's one of those circumstances. They're talking about like the the difficulty of Luigi coming straight from the physical requirement of mashing, and had he been able to jump around and mash. Uh, with the through the double jump yeah that's what it just brings me back to an interview that elegant even had at a recent msm that he had won i think it was the one either before gtx or after gtx where he said uh, luigi can, can match is significantly better in so many matchups than luigi that cannot match like he says a luigi that can mash luigi chic is 55 45 uh, chic whereas if, if he can't match he's gonna get edge guard way more so the uh matchup difference is kind of dynamically like changes that much it, it dramatically changes that much it's like it's like taking peach and, and then and not being able to float with her you know versus being able to float oh, and like recognizing all your float cancels like knowing your tech is kind of huge so if you're going to play luigi uh you know, definitely recognize the best mashing options to get oh. ooh, get, good percent of, get, get the best matching options to just mix up your recovery options because that's a big part of the game absolutely but in the meantime checking out that that string of up air is looking a lot like his brother right now oh yeah <laughs> i actually you know, not to mention that, I have not seen that many Luigi up here string together as if it were Mario. And but now uh, a couple spin depth conversions away, and now that he's closing the percent gap. Mm -hmm. And that's very, that's going to be very crucial here um, for for J for J Brock. But again, uh, we saw that kind of that kind of change, and what a challenge here! This guy is showing no fear whatsoever. Absolutely. I mean, if you noticed in the first game, he was able to get the grab on the top battlefield platform, but the top of uh, the Dreamland platform is a little more deadly. Mm -hmm. So is that is it the ceiling smaller or? No. Okay. okay so the, the, the battlefield ceiling is the tallest ceiling in the game 
this has the same ceiling as like Smashville and every other state but town and city. Town and city having the lowest ceiling. But oh, this, 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 but so, it's a but tri -plat. Because it's a tri -plat. And I see. So it, it's not Battlefield, so to speak. It doesn't have a lower ceiling, but it's lower than Battlefield in comparison. That's, that's why, okay, that's where the, the illusion comes from. But what a return going straight back in and taking advantage of that normal size ceiling for that up smash to bring that uh, the game back to even. A stock of peace. Yeah, he found the answer right there with the up smash. This is great because you don't want to have Sonic run away with a stock lead. Mm hmm. We saw that kind of thing happen last game. And oh my goodness, the careful play that's going to be having to come yeah. in here. As J-Bot continues to take advantage of every hit he's getting. Yeah, this is absolutely exciting. Has me on the edge of my seat, man. I'm almost losing control just watching this. Right? Oh my goodness. And, and now he's seeing it again, like, like this is... I, I, I mention it as many times as I do because of how important it is for this for, for this particular character, the meta that, that Sonic's currently in. That um, seeing seeing Jerry commit to these defensive options and, and, so, and J-Bot taking advantage of them, it's, it's, it's so important for these little interactions here. Yeah, j Rock's defensive play right here and his conversion chips are a little bit tighter than Jury. Like, we're seeing Jury get the grabs, but he's not getting the full percent that he needs out of these grabs because it's, it's hard enough getting in on Sonic to begin with. So every time that you get in, you have to maximize your damage output as much as you can. Mm -hmm. I want to make a, a quick shout out here to, uh, to the little uh, bit that j Rock was doing there with the shields and jabs. You're shooting the fireballs and then jabbing because, because of knowing that uh, Luigi's fishing for the grab usually after fireballs. And he's jabbing afterwards to make it as difficult as possible and keeping Luigi out. Of the uh, of the bubble there, well played on on uh, J Brock's part. Yeah, that's actually great awareness on that. I actually didn't pick up on that myself. So uh, J Brock advancing on the winner's bracket with that two zero, keeping his composure despite the first stock deficit, like the first percent deficit of mm. the set. Mm. He uh, took the time to kind of study the play and just uh, clean up that set, take it two zero, advancing in the winners. But we might still see Jury and losers. He's uh, very strong, up and coming Luigi. We have in Chicago. Absolutely, but, yeah. absolutely. I liked how I definitely liked uh, what it is that Jury was doing. Um, I again, I, I just kind of feel like uh, in that circumstance, J Park definitely took advantage of the matchup and what it was that he could do to escape Luigi and take advantage of the defensive options that Jerry was committing to, and um, they, they kind of he literally ran away. Uh, with the uh, with the stock as the lead continued to progress. Yeah, you know? we got a pretty perfect bracket here tonight. We got at least 64 entrants. I want to say it said 69 on the challenge, but sometimes there's like late entrance there. But 64 man bracket, that's pretty perfect. Uh, we're gonna have a good time tonight. Uh, Oh yeah, we were just talking about Frostbite, so let's go ahead and bring it right back. At Big House 7, we revealed Frostbite 2017 with this crazy 2000 early what? 2018. You already know, dropping into next year already, we are getting set up. Yeah, man, we got that early uh, entry fee right there. Uh, $30 uh, venue fee, and then $10 for singles, and $10 for doubles. It's like a paired thing, but like, uh, it's like, if you buy singles, you basically get doubles for free. So, I mean, the venue fee, this is only for the first week, so I believe until uh, Monday. Uh, I don't, it has it on the website. Go to smash.gg slash fb2018. Mm -hmm. so, 80 entrants have already signed up, that. and it's been like, what, 24 hours? No, no it's, I think it's Monday. I'm stupid. It's been, it's been four uh, We've got.